us up to date on this rather unusual story. Very unusual. It took place at a Stones concert near Barrie, Ontario, north of Toronto a couple days ago, Jen. Uh, a lot of people there, and according to Melnick, Lisa McLeod came up to him. He didn't recognize who she was uh, immediately, and then there was an altercation, uh, and it did involve some uh, very, very, well, vulgar language, let's put it plainly. So we're going to share with you what Melnick says, McLeod said, and uh, kids turn, uh, parents, don't let your kids, kids see this. Uh, so you see what the, uh, what the, uh, what the Minister of Sport uh, then told the owner of the Senators, um, and uh, he was flabbergasted, basically, couldn't believe it. Um, and he wrote a letter to Premier Doug Ford, and uh, then this tweet from Lisa McLeod about the incident. She says, let me set the record straight. I gave Eugene Melnick some feedback at the Rolling Stones concert and I apologized to him for being so blunt. I have serious concerns about the state of our beloved Ottawa Senators. We need to get our team back on the road to winning the cup. Hmm. Uh, so that is the outline of the altercation between the politician who's come under fire a number of times, Jen, and the Ottawa Senators. So she calls it feedback. Um, Eugene Melnick sees it another way. I understand you've heard from the owner of the Senators, Michelle. Yeah, just moments ago, he sent me an email uh, saying, Hi, Michelle. Premier Ford called me. Uh, it was the first time we have ever spoken on the phone. He says that he's very impressed uh, by his leadership and how he addressed the issue with him. I'm a big fan of his following our conversation, he writes to me. Unfortunately, Lisa McLeod hasn't followed her boss's example. Her tweet this morning takes no accountability for her actions and, in fact, tries to justify them. I'm moving on from this, walking away with a much higher opinion of the Premier and a much lower opinion of our Minister of Sport. Parentheses, ironic. Now, I have reached out to Premier Doug Ford's office a number of times for comment on this since we last spoke, Jen. I've texted them. Uh, I finally got a hold of his executive director of communications, peppered her with questions. Is there going to be any remedial action? Is there going to, are there going to be consequences? Uh, have they spoken? Has uh, Doug Ford spoken to, uh, to Lisa McLeod? And, uh, and there was just an outright denial uh, of any of my questions. She's denying to comment any further on this. All right, and no further word from the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport either? Basically saying that her tweet stands as is. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be reaching out again. I'm just sure. To, you know, okay. Uh, yeah, this, this begs more answers. It really does. All right, Michelle, appreciate the update. Thank you.